Well, last night I mentioned the anecdote about former Prime Minister Tony Abbott confronting Russian President Vladimir Putin in 2014 and demanding an apology for being indirectly responsible for the shooting down of passenger jet MH17 the year before, killing everyone aboard, including 38 Australians. Putin, being a megalomaniac, refused to apologise. But while he hasn't expressed any remorse for those deaths, Putin's recent decisions have still benefited some Australians anyway. Here's a childcare facility in regional New South Wales that might not have been built if Putin was not such a hostile expansionist in Europe. And here's an Indigenous amateur rugby league team that will soon travel from the north of New South Wales to, Hol to Shoalhaven in the south to compete in the 50th annual state Aboriginal Rugby League Knockout Carnival, thanks also in part again to Putin. So what's the connection? Well, both of these are sponsored by Whitehaven Coal, one of Australia's largest and now most successful coal miners. Its share price has more than tripled since Putin's Russia, Putin's Russia invaded Ukraine and through European fuel supplies into turmoil. In its annual statement in July, uh, Whitehaven said there were two reasons for the historically high price of coal, Russia's invasion of Ukraine and long-term underinvestment in the sector. Whitehaven's shareholders, employees, and the various other community organisations it has invested in have all benefited as a result. But Australia could be doing so much more. For example, the price of gas has also increased. Before the pandemic, the price of gas was about 20 euros per megawatt hour. It's now 174. Most of the discussion about Europe and energy these days is about the winter that is about to begin, and rightly so thanks to years of switching to renewables and closing down nuclear power plants, Europe is about to face a winter in which thousands of people will die from cold. But the ensuing winter, but the ensuing winter will be even worse. Goldman Sachs predicts the price of gas by then will be 235 euros per megawatt hour. That is more than 10 times the price it was less than three years ago. Europe's reserves will also almost be drained. Even France, which has substantial nuclear energy, will not be immune to the turmoil.